to sign a building contract. It is so everyone who is involved in this project, which is probably one of the biggest projects you will do in your life, knows exactly who needs to do what when. Yes, the contractor needs to build it, and yes, you need to pay for it. That is easy. But what happens when things get harder? Let's say it rains for 10 days on end. Who pays for that? A contractor has staff, he has all his systems he needs to pay for. There are implications if it rained for 10 days on your site, and that costs money, and that costs time. And a contract helps you to facilitate your, um, your entire project and manage your expectations. The best person to facilitate your building contract is a project manager. We are professionals in this. We know what questions to ask proactively. We know when something is becoming dangerous, when a contractor is looking lazy. And that is how we protect you and your investment. Let's face it, it's all about time and money. Yes, it's about the prettiness as well. We've seen that. But after we've de decided what this is gonna look like, we know it's about time and money. And that is what a project manager does. We make sure that you get what you paid for when you, you wanted it. What is value engineering? Some people's heard the word. If you are working on a building contract and you haven't, you have to know what value engineering is. That is when we take a part of the design or the entire design and we've realized now you have what you wanted in terms of the design, but it's way too expensive. We take your solar installation, for example. The contractor, he wants to give you the biggest, best installation he can. We take that, we say, Mr. Client, what do you need? What is it you want? And then we subtract some of the things he offered and some of the things we're gonna put into the design to give you something which you want to pay for and that will still meet your needs. So what do you do now that your project is already late and already over budget? You set up a meeting for this afternoon. Today, I know it looks a bit late. Today, you'll have a meeting with the client and the contractor and your professional team, if you have a team. It is really important to resolve that matter amicably. That is the cheapest thing you can do. So what we do as project architects is we facilitate these types of conversations to put you in a position where your money will give you a building at the end and you're not spending your money fighting. Yes, there, there will always be conflict in construction and our job is to resolve that amicably and give you the best possible product.